Okay, this is in the Cycles, Materials, and Nodes tutorial series. And in this case, we're looking at another file that I've worked on before. We've seen this probably, perhaps, these glass bottles and the one that kind of looks silver-like in here. Well, it looks silver in here because I have a different type of lighting setup than in the other one. The other one, I had a couple overhead lights. These are a couple of side lights. And also what contributes to this look is that they have the blue reflects into it here. You can see the blue there and this pink, purple reflects into here as well. But anyway, it's kind of a silvery-like material. And so what I've done over here, I've gone and grouped it just like we did in the other lesson. Right? I just boxed it around and I gave it a name and grouped it and called it silver. And so maybe I like that and want to use it. And if I had the same lighting set up, everything should look the same. But since I don't, it's not going to look quite the same. But let's see how we might be able to use it in another file. So you don't have to, you know, repeat the thing over and over again. So let's go get that file that we were looking at just a little bit ago and that was this one here and it's the same file except I no longer have a texture on the cone a material on the cone like this so in order to get it you do the same thing as the way you would import an object into your scene from another file you press shift F1 and when you do when you pick the file there was the file this called here glass silver glass and then down here you'll have a thing called a node tree. Otherwise that won't exist otherwise, right? You, you'll have your material and stuff, but the node tree is what we want. You go into the node tree and there's my silver right there. So I've clicked it and if I then make sure I click this guy, oh no, yeah, he's, he's active, he's the cone, and then I have to add it in. So add a group and there's silver now lined up in there. So I can zoom in, press tab, and there's the silver node and there it is right here but you can see it doesn't quite do the same thing because of the lighting right from here you know <laughs> it's but yet it's the exact same thing I haven't done anything to it I'm just using the exact same thing look it almost looks like transparent let's see where is my it's glossy oh it is glossy right so let's see if we can just change one of these lights we'll move one of these lights down to the side and see how that changes things here let me go get material mode and just rotate this on X a little bit. I'll rotate this this way and drop it down near the surface. Okay, then we're going to go zoom back into it. And that's still not cutting it. It still doesn't look quite the same. Alright, let's go bring, let's drop that one down. Now it looks silvery up on top, but here, now let's see, maybe if I need to um, drop this one just down to the plane. Maybe the plane is, let's see what happens. If we, now when we get it down to there, that dark base goes away like that. So that could be part of it. Maybe it's the reflection on there. Well, it's hard to say. Well, I think you kind of get the idea. So it's like... Um, yeah, you'll have to work it. It's definitely got reflections from this surface down in here. So what color? I think that other surface was... Okay, let's do this. Let's just crank the surface over the other direction towards that white. I do have the surface, don't I? Yeah, there we go. That's probably the problem. The other one was more of a a white surface than this one. And... And also, this one has the, oh, this one is a glass surface, whereas the other one was probably just diffuse, so let's just knock that out of the equation here. Make this more of a whitish color there. Um, and the brightness is cranked up. Now we're going to have to crank it back the other direction. There we go. So now the reflection starts looking more like silver, like in the other one. Right, so everything matters. The light matters, position, color, and even on these lights, you know, sometimes you come in, and I don't, sometimes I don't necessarily want to change the strength of the light, but maybe all I do, you can actually affect the light by not just changing the strength, but you can just, just like a regular lamp, like a big fluorescent lamp in a garage. If you have one fluorescent lamp, you know, that looks one way, well, what if you had it? A bigger fluorescent lamp, <laughs> right? So now I'm maintaining the brightness of that color and then just changing the scene that way. Right? So, you know, you might try taking like uh, the inside of a, take a sphere and um, 
turn it into a light, flip the normals inside out so the normals face in, inward, place that way above the sphere, kind of like a big giant dome, and then use that as your light and see what kind of effect that gives you. Everything is really, it's about lights and, you know, anyway. Okay, well, that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.